Now, Taraba State Governor Kefas Agu has announced a plan to resettle the landowners of Kashimbila community in Taraba State. Now, Governor Agu Kefas made the announcement at the weekend when he paid a scheduled visit to the dam, which is located at Takum Local Government Council. The construction of this dam marks the end of the incessant threat of Lake Neos, which is located in the neighboring country of the Republic of Cameroon, which often resulted in flooding that affects millions of lives and property in the state. The governor, while speaking with newsmen at the site, maintains that the dam, which has a storage capacity of no fewer than 500 million cubic meters, KFAS being happy that the hydropower station has begun to impact positively on the state and the neighboring state of Benue said his administration will soon embark on the resettling of the owners of the land which the dam has been constructed. Uh, the issue of uh, resettlement is not, is not a problem. I'm going to solve that problem within the shortest time. Uh, we'll create a place for them. They are all our people. We'll build something for them where they can stay comfortably and then we we'll begin to look into this area. So for uh, the purpose in which the dam is built, it will be well utilized and uh, the, the, the contractors that are here have already worked out so many things. The governor stated that the dam can create a lot of jobs opportunities. Uh, this dam can create a lot of job, create a lot of uh, opportunity for our people. While reiterating his administration's readiness to ignite smiles on the faces of the community, the need for them to issue acts capable of telling negatively on the multi-million dollar project he believed can no longer be overemphasized. The multipurpose 40 megawatt hydropower station will be recalled to have been inaugurated in May this year by former President Muhammadu Buhari at a virtual ceremony held at the council chamber of the State House in Abuja. Other ongoing projects visited by the governor is the Rifkatu Maternity Hospital, which is being built by the former Minister of Defense, General T. White and Juma retired, and the power substation, all of which are located in the council. Linda Guana, VWA TV News, Jalingo.